then, everybody. I have exciting news. Exciting news indeed. Gasforth has been selected to host the next sub-district regional police conference. <laughs> yes, I thought you'd be excited. <laughs> when I read the letter this morning, I nearly had to have another cup of tea. <laughs> we are to have an opportunity to put our views to a deputy assistant under secretary of state to the cabinet. A man who has the ear of a man, who has the ear of the man, who has a foot in the home office. You've lost me completely now, sir. We are just two ears and a foot from the home secretary. We must not waste this chance to place the issues that really count right at the heart of government. You're absolutely right, sir. Let's ask the old git for pear eyes. But as some of us, Constable Habib, who believe that there is more to policing than the weekly stipend. Yes, like being able to drive through red lights when you feel like it. I beg your pardon. <laughs> and really cool riot gear like they have on Robocop. <laughs> and tear gas. I had to go with that once. It was brilliant. Except you, you have to check which way the wind is blowing, because I've forgotten it didn't half sting. <laughs> Goody. Tell me what those long truncheons they have on NYPD Blue. Don't be absurd, Constable. Those telegraph poles that American officers carry are just so much macho posturing. The traditional truncheon is perfectly adequate. Personally, I've always felt more than satisfied with 14 inches hanging down inside my trousers. <laughs> have I said something amusing, Constable? Have you? No, sir. Then you will oblige me by wiping that silly grin off your face. Anyway. The subject of the conference is rather specific. We have been asked to prepare an initiative on an aspect of juvenile crime. So what do you think it should be? Truancy? Taken without consent? The scourge of graffiti? I don't see graffiti as a scourge, sir. I see it as a new urban art form. <laughs> have you run mad, Constable? No, I'm serious, sir. Isn't it just a vibrant and contemporary form of youth expression? No, it's a bunch of nasty little yobs scribbling on walls. I blame these awful fridge magnets. <laughs> yes, and for those of us who are conducting this briefing on Earth... I've seen it at my niece's house. Every time her toddler does a nasty little scribble, it gets stuck up on the fridge. Yeah. And everyone has to say how nice it is. So young people grow up thinking that their stupid scribblings are somehow wonderful. So they carry on scribbling. Forever searching for that warm glow of appreciation that they used to feel when standing round the fridge. Yes, and that completes this week's training session for the Gasforth Police Synchronised Idiots team. 